All right, we are in hole number eight. This is a pivotal hole right here. And we're still trying to dial in exactly what we're gonna do here. So we started off with the katana on this and we ended up a little short. So I think what we need to do is put a little bit of overpower on it and max top spin. We upped it to a Titan and we tried to do a Titan with no, we did five top, five top spin. And what I should have did was max top spin, but that extra distance that was out here, I was hoping that it would just, without having to do any overpower, we could get on. But I still ended up short. So I'm going to try the Titan one more time and we're going to put on max top spin and just rub up against the nubs as far as overpower. Because if you start getting into overpower where you're actually pulling down past the, the nubs, then it's hard, to, it's hard to get in the same spot every time. So like one time you're, you're getting the right overpower and the next time you're getting too much overpower. And the next time you're getting too little. We're just going to continue to work this hole until we can find exactly the deal and hopefully it's on the weekend round where we can find that exact deal where we don't have to do anything but come here and make a nice clean shot, end up on the green, make our eagle putt and go home. And the other way you can go out is that way right there. They've got a kingmaker. And it's good to start off down low like that. Because if you're applying curl, and they hit it great to the inside, so that put them more so that when they get this bounce, they clip. And they actually, that came out pretty good for them. That was good. Awesome shot. Nice shot. They will like that. Our goal is to not do any overpower. We want to give ourselves plenty of room. Okay. Four wind, two rings. And we're gonna give it a little bit of curl. Made it great to the wall, to great to the right. So the curl, we just compensated for the curl by hitting it great to the right. And our goal was to roll right out and end up on the fairway. See, I put five top spin on there last time I was through here and I ended up short. So I think max is what, like six and a half right there. So if you've got, if you only have five top spin and you're ending up short, then you will have to put a little bit of overpower on it. But try not to put any more than the nubs and see how that works because it's really easy to figure out when you're just barely pushing up against it because the needle will just start to shake just a little like our opponent's doing right here but go go down just a little bit further so that the ball is right up against this blue ring I don't know what they call those things I call them the nubs Rudolph I think it would have shot out red. All right, we still got some work to do. Hitting it perfect. In the hole. And we have got to get an eagle on this hole every single time we come here. You can't afford to not get an eagle on this hole. You gotta get an eagle every time we come to this hole. This hole and hole number two, these are gonna be the make or break for a lot of people in this tournament. When this tournament's all over, you look at the top 15, depending on your bracket, a lot more than that but in most brackets it's going to be at least the top 10 to 15 are going to have eagle both of those holes both times
if they're down from the top, they, they probably had a problem somewhere else. They were focused on those holes and then they, they blew a par three or they had a problem on another hole. All right, that was hole number eight of the Winter Slopes Tournament in the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.